silence. But it's easy to miss silence. So how much of what we say and what we think is true? How much of it should we believe? Probably none of it. There'd be some truth in there, but but the absolute truth is corrupted always. If it's corrupted, it's not the absolute truth, so it's lost as soon as it goes through those, those um, filters, as soon as it's translated. So when I speak, it doesn't sound like me. It sounds like the me that I'm used to hearing. But if I've been sitting here in silence and then I speak, it sounds foreign. And that's not unique to me. I think that's true of everybody. Just like your name your birth name never really feels like it's you that's why people like nicknames so much I've never used my real name <clears throat> none of my friends know me by my real name I mean, they know my real name but they don't It's just like your reflection. People would take your photo. A lot of people don't like having their photo taken. It's it's actually not to do with how good looking they are. They can be really good looking, they don't want their photo taken. It seems to me that it's because that person doesn't feel like them to them. That's why it never looks quite right. That's why the recording of your voice never sounds quite right. Your name never fits you properly. I mean, you can eventually fall in love with that image in the photo and you can become attached to it and you can feel feel you happy being that okay but see if you feel the same way when you're in your late 50s and this you know the reflection isn't quite as attractive as it was and it will go back to feeling not quite Some people, they've not experienced noticing the falsehoods of the mind. It's very easy to notice if you've... If you've suffered from depression, if you've uh, had a drug addiction, then you've probably noticed it because your mind will work against you and there's that concept it works against you so there's that separation 
it's easy not to notice that it's easy just to think that you are that process of interpretations you know that process of constant real of statements being made and you know judgments but if you've been really depressed you know you'll know your mind is you'll notice sort of when you have the moments of clarity or when you're better that what was going on in your head was you were experiencing it but you you weren't <laughs> you weren't behind that you weren't asking for it it was the illness speaking if you want and if you've been addicted to a drug then you'll know how it will lie to you just like through you it will lie to other people to feed the addiction anything it can get you to believe it, it will it will tell you and you probably won't realize and notice that you're not really behind all of that until you find yourself you know, consuming whatever it is you're addicted to again and you think well, you fell for it I didn't even have a really crippling addiction it's just that any time you realize you're not in control it's, it's it's a bit crippling so you have that little conundrum where you speak but you're aware that the truth is in the silence as soon as you start speaking it's, it goes through that me filter The way I see it, truth can survive, but it's still wrapped up in a bit of an illusion. When you start observing the um, workings of your mind, you see that there's just this little voice and it's like it's your biggest fan it's like you've got your own little cheerleader in there the me machine and I notice everything you know when I'm out today and I I feel that what I've been embracing is true and I can feel the fruits of it and then there's that little me machine that wants to say how great I am for doing that, how smart I am, all these, all these things and as soon as you buy into it you've lost it, you've lost the purity it now just becomes about you know you the thoughts and that's not where the beauty came from all you did was just let yourself notice it but it's easy to just you know, believe these things it also loves to judge everything else you know other people it's very easy to notice things in other people it stops you noticing it in yourself so recognize truth though it's like it's like we're, we can fall for the illusion easily but somehow we recognize the truth you know if you're dreaming you can believe all of these things that uh, are ridiculous that are going on you can believe them but somehow when we wake up we know we're woken woken we know we're awake for real it's sort of like that <clears throat> You're going to be bombarded with the illusions, but somehow we can still recognize that pure truth. So, it 
so don't get too caught up in you know, everything that a person tells you or everything that your mind tells you just let some of it go don't really worry about it too much you know, don't st struggle or anything just let it do what it does look how green it is over here Why we love animals? Cause they don't have that little me machine going on, you know. So when that bird sings, there's no translation there. Either. You're hearing. It's as true as it gets for that species, anyway. No, even that's just an expression. core is that you know it's what's beneath everything that's why when you hear that silence when you hear it when you actually notice it you instantly recognize it there's no clearer message